ready for the success? Are you ready for the betrayal? Are you ready for the envious? Are you ready for the jealousy or the hate? You ready for your family to start switching up on you? You gotta be ready to lose friends. You gotta be ready to make enemies. You think it's all about you? YouTube, what it do? It's your boy Steph. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Steph is Cold. Follow me on Twitter at Steph is Cold. Also, if you want one-on-one -on -one consultations with your boy, go to stephascode.com. Y'all need to understand that today is Black Friday, and all of my programs are on sale for a limited time. So what I'm going to need for you to do is go in the pinned comment section or the description and click this link below. I have programs that's going to help you with your physique. I got programs that's going to help you with the bitches as well. <laughs> So let's get cold together on this Black Friday, man. Stay in your lane in everything that you're doing or whatever it is that you're doing on an every single daily basis. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. That's it. It don't matter what the person on the left of you is doing. It don't matter what the person on you on the right of you is doing. As long as you focus on what you're doing, I promise you, you're going to be successful. I promise you, you're going to win. But the moment you get to drifting, to the left, drifting to the right, drifting to all these other places. I promise you, you're 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 you're, you're not going to succeed. What does staying in your lane mean? Even when the haters are talking from the left, and the envious is, is from the right, and the jealousy is from the left, and the betrayal is from the right. All you're doing is stay course. You just stay in course. You just stay in focus. Focus. Stand. You're just going straight forward. Just digging. That's all you're doing. You're putting your head down. Just focus on everything you need to focus on. Not worrying about what he doing or what she doing or what they doing. You're just worrying about what you're doing. And the more you do what you're supposed to do, life is going to open up for you so you can do what you want to do for you. The more you do what you're supposed to do, life will open up for you so you can do what you want to do for you. So it has to be every single day. Are you ready for success though? Are, is your mind ready for, you ready for that? It's a lot of things we say we, we're ready for until they actually happen, until it actually hits the fan. Are you, are you ready for the success? Are you ready for the betrayal? Are you ready for the envious? Are you ready for the jealousy or the hate? You ready for niggas to start switching up on you? You ready for women to start switching up on you? You ready for your family to start switching up on you? Your loved ones to switch up on you? You ready for that? You ready for all the hard work you put in and you got this money coming in and you want to invest your money on some nice chains, some nice jewelry, and you got to put your chain up and your jewelry up around the people you love because they hating on you. You ready for that? You ready to not be your full self because somebody is judging you or counting your pockets all the time? Are you ready for that? If the answer is yes, I'm ready for that, then just know that's what comes with it. You got to understand in this life, you got to take the good and the bad, G. That's the duality of this life that we live. Like, you gotta know how to take the good and the bad. That's gonna make you a stronger man. That's gonna make you better. That's gonna know how to make you deal with adversity better. Adversity is good. Going through hard times is good. Getting your heart broke is good. Having that chick cheat on you is good. Why? Because as a man, it's gonna help you become better as you get older. You're gonna know how to deal with things as you get older. You're gonna know how to control your own stresses. You're gonna know how to control your own emotions. You're gonna also know how to control other people's emotions that's around you. You gotta understand that the Most High put you on this earth for you to be a vessel to light other people's life. What does that mean? People are depending on your energy. People are depending on what the things that you're supposed to be doing every day. Don't think this shit is all about you. You think it's all about you? It's never all about you. You know, Thanksgiving was yesterday. And um, I didn't get the opportunity to spend time with my family, you know, for pers due to personal reasons, right? Family reasons, right? And I didn't know how much of a burden it was on my mom. I didn't know how much of a burden it was on my family. But when you become successful, bro, you're important to people that you never was important to, to begin with. People start to pick up on your energy when your energy was non-existent to begin with. Don't that sound like the female to you? People start to love you deeper and better all of the sudden. People are also genuinely happy for you. People want you to meet their friends and their loved ones and people want you People want you to meet their successful people and their successful friends or their successful girlfriends or their successful boyfriends or whatever it is. People want to meet other people and be around other people of great energy, great circle of influence, great energy. That's why you got to be a guy that has great energy. What's your energy like? It's going to meet. It's going to have times and days where, you know what I'm saying, you don't feel like doing anything. You don't want to do it. We all going to have days and times in our life when we don't feel like doing things, but you still got to do it anyway because it's not about you. People are counting on you the same way people are counting on me. 
Just like when you're an entrepreneur, G, you don't work for yourself. You work for the people because the people are counting on you to pull through to them. Ain't that why you motivated? That's why I'm motivated. That's why I'm inspired. You think I get up at 4.35 a.m. every single day and do my cardio and do my abs just for me? I mean, I've been doing it before this, but do you think I do it just for me? No, nah, because when you when, 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 when the light is shined on you, you, you now realize that, oh, I have a bigger incentive in this. You have a bigger incentive in this. Everybody's depending on you to make the play happen. It's kind of like you're the quarterback of your own life and you got to call the shots. You got to call the audibles. You got to call the plays. But most importantly, G, you got to see the field and read the field. If you can't read the field, G, you can't be successful. If you don't know what to watch out for, bro, you can never be successful. If you don't know the knowledge of the game, the knowledge of life, you can never be successful. That's why I use the quarterback analogy. You know how Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, you know, Josh Allen, they all... You know, Patrick Mahomes, they had a thing on their wrist, right? I even played quarterback in middle school. I played quarterback sixth through eighth grade. I ain't had no growth spurt, so I played running back in high school. <laughs> and these things, they, you know, my coach, shout out to Coach Gilly, you know, Cougars, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, man. Uh, he put this thing on my wrist, and it's these, and it's these plays that, that you got to remember, right? And within these plays, you can call audibles at the line depending on how you read the defense. But it's, that's the playbook. The playbook is gonna, is gonna have the game working for you. The playbook is gonna make the game easier for you, but you gotta know how to read the playbook. You gotta, you gotta have the knowledge and the understanding to read the playbook. You gotta have the skill sets and understanding how to read the playbook so that you and your team can flourish. But it starts with who though? It don't just start with team, it start with you, G. You. Study to show thyself approved. You got to study so yourself is approved. So when yourself is approved, you can approve and improve others. That's why you're the quarterback of your fucking life. You can make that wide receiver cold as hell by just by you being cold as hell. Let me say that one more time. You can make that wide receiver cold as hell just by you being cold as hell. You can inspire others to be cold just like you just by doing what you're doing every single day. So it's not about you. This life is not about you. It's about your kids if you got kids. It's about the, it's it's about the daily grind. It's about the 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 the, res, the end result. It's not about whether I feel like it or not. It's about the end result, and it's about what I'm going to get out of it. But you gotta enjoy the process. You gotta love the game. You gotta and you gotta breathe, sleep, eat this every single day. Only if this is something that you really say that you want to do. But you gotta understand what comes with this shit. You gotta understand you're gonna have fake friends. You gotta understand that women are gonna break your heart. You gotta understand that. Women, sometimes some women gonna come around and they not they not around for the right reasons, my nigga. But you gotta have that playbook. But before the playbook, you gotta have the knowledge to see the defense to call that audible. Oh, call that audible. Ah, green sixteen. Yeah, call that audible. Yeah, not fucking with her like that. Not really taking her serious like that. Ah, he's a hating ass hoe ass nigga. Really can't fuck with him like that. I don't know how to call those audibles because you're the quarterback of your life. You make it happen. You call the shots, bro. Don't nobody else call the nigga. You're not a woman. You ain't a woman. You don't you don't get to spew out a bunch of bullshit and believe in some manifestation and all that goofy shit. Action at station. Action is station. Not no manifestation. Action is state. Do action. We're manifesting while we're doing action so we can get to the chicken back faster. Slow grind is the best grind. I'm making this video today, bro, just to show, just to tell y'all, bro, like, you gotta really want this shit, man. <laughs> you gotta really want this, but you gotta understand what comes with this shit. And you gotta be ready for it. You gotta be ready to lose friends. You gotta be ready to make enemies. That's just this life. That's just what it is. You gotta be ready for the haters. And if the haters are gonna knock you off your square, you're not ready. So that's why I say stay in your lane. This is why you gotta stay in your lane. You can't look to the left. You can't look to the right. You gotta stay what's right in front of you. Stay on sight, stay on point. Whatever your goals are, stay on point. Attack your goals, stay on point. And let the naysayers and let the people that's that's not trying to add value, let them motivate you. You gotta let that just add more fuel to the fire. You just gotta let that add more fuel to the fire. That's it. Let it make you go harder because I don't want you or I don't want us to be in our 40s and we say, man, I wish I would have. Or we're in our late 30s and I say, I wish we would have. I wish I would have. I wish I would have took on that opportunity. I wish I would have. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. Instead of just staying in your lane, focus on one big thing and attack that big thing. Y'all be all over the place focusing on, on this, doing this. I'm trying to do real estate, trying to do this, trying to focus on this, trying to focus on that. Focus on just one thing. Focus on real estate. If real estate is your thing, focus on real estate. If stocks is your thing, focus on stocks. Focus on that one 
one big thing. And when you get cold in that thing, then you can get colder at other things. You can get colder at other things in life. Focus on that one thing. When I used to play basketball, man, and I really wanted my handle better. What, what did I focus on? I focused on that one thing. So I dedicated driven outside with the plastic bag over the ball in 30 degree, 20 degree, 10 degree. I grew up in Milwaukee, 10 degree weather, negative two degree weather every single day doing the same move. Tim Hardaway behind the back. 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 I'm doing that over and over and over and over and over. So when I'm in game or we running in full court runs or we doing one-on-ones, we running ones, I'm doing that same move hard as be boom boom now it's more fluid it's more efficient doing it with my eyes closed because i know where the ball that i'm keeping the ball on the strain that's the whole purpose that's the whole purpose of putting the plastic bag on man work on your shooting work on your defense work on your playmaking your handles ain't getting right his handle's still gonna be weak that's that's the left and that's the fucking right all i'm doing is and i'm staying in my fucking lane that's what i'm telling you to do turns out steph had cold handles <laughs> still does <laughs> I'm a little, just a little rusty, a little bit. Muscle memory never leaves. Stay in your lane, bro. Stay in your lane, bro. And I promise you, you'll be successful. I promise you, you'll be successful. That's the video for today, my dudes. I'm gone.